previously in Cyberpunk 2077. I can't exactly tell you no, they don't belong to me. That was her smoke case. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing you said to me the last time that I came here, but okay. Yep, I really like that. I have hair again. Like, I hope you learned something about this. Otherwise, what was it all for? So you gotta come and get him or not? And now to continue. Alright, if Regina's gonna take her sweet time coming to pick this guy up, I'm not sticking around. I have other things that I need to take care of. Who is over that goon maelstrom? No, I don't feel like picking any unnecessary fights right now. Let's see what else might be in my area. I have... Not a whole lot of anything. Jobs wise, there is a gig up here I want to go check out. And there's another apartment right here I want to scope. According to this, only 10,000. Like, that sure is cheaper than the other one that I looked at. That was, that was way down here, wasn't it? Yeah, this one. 30,000. Uh, I will buy them all. Eventually, I will buy them all. But not right now. I've also got a couple more nearby gigs that I could do in the area. And another Cyber Psycho over there. Good grief. These guys are everywhere. Like, why are there so many Cyber Psychos? And why is nobody doing it? Whoa. Okay, that was a little weird. I want to go that way. All right, so we're going to just kind of walk over to the apartment. Wait, where's my motorcycle? Oh, yeah, it disappeared. Yeah, just going to walk, run to the apartment. It's right around the corner. It's not that far. And then I'll take... Oh, hey. Foam padded racers. You know, it'll add it to my wardrobe. Whoa. I don't know why, but this place looks familiar. And not because I just did a nearby job either, but almost like I've done a job here before. I don't know. Not gonna think about it too much. Okay. Apartment's still a bit of ways away. Let's try not to get run over by traffic, shall we? Now this spot I re Really? You know? I'm offended just by the fact that he tried. They're doing a back alley. You know what? No, never mind. It's not worth it. Just a couple of street thugs doing a back alley deal. Who do I care? Oh, wait. Is this the apartment? That might make me care a bit. If they're going to be doing that kind of crap next to my new... Uh, apartment and causing trouble for me that'll make me care um force oh no I don't want to force it open I want what but this was the place wasn't it what do I have to go higher 
Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the building. That's what that is. Okay. Okay, okay, I get it. Oh, it's an apartment complex. Really? This hunk of junk? Has an alarm system? And why now all of a sudden does this apartment complex look familiar? Too many unknown familiarities today. Ah, oh, but here's the place. Ah, but I do have to pay if I want to get in. Or... Or if I had 20 intelligence, I could just hack the place. Eight six seven five three eight oh nine. No? Nah, it was worth a shot. Twelve forty-two. I doubt I highly doubt the door code is going to be the apartment number. Yeah. Nor do I know where I would find... What exactly is this thing for, anyways? Oh. So now the big question. To pay or not to pay? Like... Damn it. Why am I so weak? I just want to get in and look around before I waste my money on a place that I'm never going to visit. Like, I've got 29k, but that's... All things considered, that's not a lot. To be spending 10 on an apartment, especially if I'm never going to come here again. Oh, fine. I just know I'm going to regret this. Or maybe not. Uh, archive conversation. The hell's up with you. I keep calling and calling. Even stop by your place. You alive. Had a gig. A gig? You were supposed to lay low after the last one. Not go running straight for the net. Jeez, chill. Some chooms called. Was gonna tell them to saw it off, but they offered good eds. Simple gig. Political. Choom, how do you get it in your gonk skull that you can start grabbing gigs? What? I ain't pay you enough? Jeez, not on the hollow, Ted. <laughs> I'll Ted you? What the hell? This conversation's weird. Better be glad you're my best runner. Uh, what was the gig? Just digging up some dirt on a council member. Easy for them to fry your brains. Politics is no joke. Uh, sometimes I'm the only... Okay. Okay, so... A former runner... And his... Fixer having a disagreement. Tomato juice. Gross. I'll drink it anyways. Okay. Oh, and they moved all my stuff over here already. How nice. Like... I suppose I could do worse. It actually looks pretty nice. Can I sit in the chair? I can't even sit in my own chair. Okay, that's a problem. Grape pie? Okay. How about I just store those away? I've already drank like three different things in here. I'm I'm not thirsty. Access granted. Yeah, I would hope so. I just paid for the place. Shower's a bit ratty. Oh god, I take a shower and the whole bathroom's gonna get wet. What kind of design is that? Not even a curtain? You couldn't even give me a shower curtain. You can put these silly things up in the door frame, but you can't give me a shower curtain. Priorities, people. 
Roach race. Um, maybe later. Okay. Messages. Missing friend. Dear resident, the reception desk has received a request to pass along the following message to the current resident. Whoever you are, my good friend Mike Gallick was the previous tenant in your apartment. He left home a month ago, disappeared without a word. Unfortunately, unforeseen circumstances forced me to leave the city and I could before I could find him. If Mike comes back, please tell him he'll find me by the dam. He'll know what to do. Warm regards, Theodore Collins. Uh, I need your help. Dear Good Samaritan, I am desperate for your help. My name is Lovisa Kaukonen. I recently lost my job as a custodian at Euro Business Machines because I was in a horrible accident last May. Now my implants are no longer compatible with my nervous system. I lost function in both legs, right eye, and left hand. Surgery is too expensive for me. My daughter is very ill, and my new baby is blind and deaf. Holy crap. This lady either has the worst luck in the world, or this is a scam. It is my dream to show her the world, but I know I cannot afford treatment for both of us. I humbly ask you for a small donation. There it is. To buy new Kiroshi eyes so that my little angel can see her mother and sister for the first time. I will not forget your mercy and generosity. The Visa Kaukonen. That is a weird, weird name. And I am pretty extra sure that is a scam. Otherwise, this lady has the world's worst luck ever. Just way too many unfortunate circumstances all listed in one letter for that to be legitimate. Congratulations, greetings user. Due to your continued use of Kenoshi services, you were entered into the raffle and have been selected for a prize. Kenoshi Thermosense 9873. Whatever the hell that is. Reply to this, reply to this email in the next 10 minutes to claim your prize. Hurry now, another lucky... Yeah, you're a scam as well. What's with all the scam emails? That just... Why? That is a lot of scams. All at once. Like, my god. Man, look at all these pretty cars. Now, I was hoping maybe I could get a new motorcycle. If I have the eddies. So that I can put Jackie's motorcycle away and stop trying to break it every five seconds. 66k, oh my god, nope, that is not happening today. Yaiba Kusanagi Peacekeeper. Oh, that's not for sale at the moment, okay. There's the lock symbol, I couldn't see the lock symbol. Alright. That's enough, uh... I think admiring the new apartment. Unless, of course, there's some more alcohol I can take. Because right now, especially after that cyber psycho fight, I could use a drink. I like the ease of access to leave, too. And now it's raining. What is up with the weather in this place? And who just leaves money laying around? Not gonna hear me complain. Yeah, I don't know about this place. I mean, it's not bad. The apartment looks nice, but... It's just... Eh. I've got so many different things to do and so many places I have to go. I... I don't know if I'll ever actually be back here. Plus, there are other places to buy. Other apartments to uh, gain and who knows how many of them will be better than this one so I probably just wasted 10k oh well no point whipping a dead horse about it now then 
My car, please. Motorcycle. Why are you way over there? And stopping traffic, no less. Okay, now, let's head off to this nearby gig. Oh, actually, first let's make sure, yeah, I'm focused on the appropriate gig. And go see what kind of trouble I can get myself into this time. Which I'm sure will be quite a bit. Usually is. Okay. Don't. No crashing. Please, no crashing. Oh my god. You're on the pier? Why? No. Me driving next to body of water. This is a very bad combination. Whoever thought this would be a good idea needs needs to be uh, violently shaken. Oh, police. Oh, and a gun shop. Okay, this is, um, huh, this is a shopping district, guns, food, chems, too bad there's no, uh, like, quick hack shop in here somewhere that could be very useful I suppose I could go check out the gun store they might have some more uh, like grenade blueprints or something for me let's go give them a look can you just leave don't like a paying customer looking at you can't help thinking retail just ain't your hobby, ain't your calling. You wanna buy, buy. You wanna talk, fuck off. Dude, I came in here to buy and the first thing you told me to do was get out. Now I'm thinking I don't want your, to, you know, like uh, to fine. Some iron. So buy some. No, I'm not looking for iron, I'm looking for blueprints. Um... Although not those blueprints, because they... Crafting spec, DB, Testera, double barrel shotgun. Is that... Is that a tech shotgun? This one says it's a shotgun too, right? Yeah, power shotgun. But these are crafting recipes, not actual guns. So, I mean, that's what I was looking for, was crafting recipes. But... Yeah, I spent all my money on that blasted apartment. 27k. 24k. Dear God. Um, I don't know how I'm doing on ammo. Do I have anything I can sell? I mean, I can sell my junk. What is that? Damaged clothes. Why am I holding on to damaged clothes? Yes, let's just let's just sell all of this and get rid of it. It's not it's not worth keeping. Um, anything else I can like any any duplicates? Yeah, let's get rid of any duplicated items I have that I'm probably never going to use. Ready, steady for an SMG. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a huge, huge fan of SMGs. I mean, they're good guns, but I prefer rifles to machine guns. I just do. So we're gonna get rid of these for now. Pistol revolver. Now those are a little bit more up my alley. I do. I. I don't know so much about revolvers. Because they've got limited ammo per magazine. Smart weapon mod, sniper precision rifle. See, that's that's more my style. Throwing weapon mod. 
I can modify my throwing knives, provided I have them. Blade mod. Uh, I tried the sword, it's just not my thing. Power weapon, pistol revolver, pistol revolver. Okay, I think that's good. And then I've got all of the, you know, I'm now I'm going to hold on to all of that because I never know when I'm going to need a quick snack. And then I've got a whole bunch of clothes. I really need to, to remember to drop off in my wardrobe anything that I don't want to accidentally sell or scrap. All right, good enough. And I'm not buying anything from him. He's kind of a jerk. Now, I don't recall seeing a clothing shop anywhere. Let's go check out the med station. Maybe they have, um, again, more blueprints for me. Joe, I was the one that vouched for you. Yeah, yeah. Not my conversation. Okay, how do I get up there? I see what you're doing, man. Is it this way? Yeah, here we go. Hey there. Got a medical license? That's awfully rude to say. See what you can do for me. Plenty, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I just want to see. Oh, you've just got health boosters. Okay. Um, no, thank you. Have a nice day. Sorry to waste your time. Okay. That's enough shopping. Window shopping, mostly. Should it itch? Why do I feel anything? It, it is nothing but I'm feeling metal. Calm down. <sighs> okay, the monk is having a very bad day. You must save. Let's see. Buddhism and cyberware perspective interviewer. For most of us, the precepts of Buddhism seem baffling to say the least. How would you explain to the average night city? night citizen why Biku, such as yourselves, are against implanting cybernetic technology into their bodies. Monk, it's not that we're against them per se. Every person has the right to make choices with their body so long as those choices don't harm another. Though Biku do abide by stricter rules such as abstaining from cyberware in order to achieve enlightenment. Then what does your hesitation stem from? How do cybernetics affect your pursuit of enlightenment? Well, among other things, it's the vague, fluid status, for lack of a better word. Ask yourself, what is an implant? A part of your body? A personal object? You're asking me? Uh, I suppose I'd say it depends. Precisely. Biku limit their possessions to a robe, umbrella, and a bowl of alms. Everything else is a distraction that hinders his or her release from the world's suffering. Let's say, for example, that a synthetic hand is just that. A hand. A part of your body. But if it has a watch installed in it, a blade... Right, I think I understand. Where the line's drawn isn't completely clear. Possessions, especially such intimate ones, are distractions that muddy the mind and pull it further from inner peace. I believe the phenomenon of a cyberpsychosis is proof enough of this truth. Okay, so it's not necessarily that they're against cybernetics. What happened? What happened? Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. Yeah. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? People are cruel. What? Do you know why? They targeted you specifically? Makes no sense. Who'd go and do something like this and why? We were out begging for alms when... when 
They approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. Maelstrom. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. So where's your brother now? How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how. How to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. Uh, I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... Like I have. <sighs> well, let's give them a little vigilante justice then. Chrome-sucking psychos. It won't be easy. Maelstrom never goes down the easy route. The fucking clowns. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. Seriously? I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. Not now, Johnny. Include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? No. You drop dead. No, I had. I I I. <laughs> I just wanted to get on my motorcycle, but okay, that works too. No, I had a far more permanent and and metallic solution in mind. One I like to refer to as explosive sniper rounds. Okay, they're over there. I mean, I suppose I could try and do this diplomatically. He doesn't want me to kill anyone. I could also try a stealth approach. But I don't know how well I'm going to succeed at that. I'm... I'm my stealth still needs a lot of work. Alright, let's see. Who do we have? Alright, there's one of our targets. Yeah, okay. Let's... Come on, turn around. Really? Nothing? Oh god, I just realized, uh, <laughs> I got this new cyber deck. Wait, hold on. I haven't installed any quick hacks. Synapse burnout? Oh, yay. Ping, absolutely. Uh, actually, I, no, I want, I want ping first. I want ping first. I want ping to be the very first thing on my list. Without fail. Um, and then we can do Synapse Burnout. Weapon Glitch is always really good. Uh, reboot Optics. Okay. I need to upgrade my Quick Hacks. I really do. Of course, I'm not sure if I can actually upgrade my quick hacks, but maybe I can just craft some better ones. Like a better short circuit. Or how about... Ooh, bait. Bait would be fun. Lures an enemy to your current position without putting them in an alerted state. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yes, we're, we're gonna do that. Uh, cyberware malfunction... Reboot optics. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at those. Did I get the better... P I did not get the better ping. Which is the one I wanted more than anything. I wanted a better ping. Do I have a better ping? 
I do not have a better ping. Okay, I definitely know what shopping I'm doing next. I need better quick hacks. So... Alright, um... I got a better short circuit, so let's go ahead and get rid of that one. I got a better reboot optics. So we can do away with that. And I really like the idea of this bait. And I think we're going to get rid of overheat and put bait in its place. And I want to try that. I really want to try that. So... Bait. Hey, hey, what the? Can, now the question is, can I grab him? What the fuck? And take him out. Oh, come on, no! Well, so much for doing this without violence. Why did he climb the canister? Dude, seriously? Why are you climbing the canister? Now, hold on, I'm still reloading. Damn it. I tried. I tried to do this bloodless. Now you lose your head, that's what. Damn it. See what I mean about not being very stealthy right now? Oh, there's still more of you. Okay. Well, that was an utter fail. Should I feel bad? I mean, it's Maelstrom for crying out loud. They certainly would not even consider being nice or, or bloodless to anybody else. Oh, hey. Wow. Nope, I am not even going to read that. Like, they just wouldn't. Like, they would never even consider giving the same kind of this. courtesy. Invitations against my police. Please. I do not want them. It's okay, dude. It's okay. You're safe Calm now. Down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? Uh, I saved your life. Um, are you okay? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One, one of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Yeah, your brother sent me. Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Thing about Maelstrom, they're never just joking. Now, the, the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil. In its purest form. I tried. I... I liked your brother more. Look, I... I didn't really have a choice. What was I supposed to do? Read him a sermon? Maelstrom shoots first, then asks questions. You always have a choice. Including not to act at all. That is the most difficult of the paths. I would prefer to lose the only body that I have than to live with the thought that somebody died on my account. Leave me. I must catch my breath uh. to my brother. It is him who needs saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brats? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Gannic ass too. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. 
Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this. Damn right, we are definitely looting before we leave. What do we got here? Tinnitus, music, review, and attempt. Right, so I never had a problem like this before. I learned members of the Maelstrom gang perceive the music from their favorite band, Tinnitus, differently than the average listener. Those crazy uber chrome MFers describe these tunes with terms like complexity, range, and depth of sound. Those aren't quite the words I'd use. Music can contain noise, but in this case, the noise does not contain music. I don't know. That's the best I can describe. Now I've got two leading theories on this. Theory 1. Since Tinnitus only plays at the Totentans, the acoustic could be the cause. Problem is, Maelstrom's a group of hyper-violent psycho scumbags. And I'm not going to rust my good rep by jamming out at one of their live shows. How can I confirm my theory if I don't go check it out firsthand? Theory 2. Hallucinatory agents. Maybe Tinnitus has its own homebrew chemical cocktail designed to pair with their music for some whole experience. To be honest, I don't think I want to find out because if number 2 is true, then I'll be risking a drug-induced nervous system meltdown for the sake of music science journalism. That really worth... Is that really worth it? Guys, music doesn't need to be this complicated. <laughs> Who the hell was even... Yeah, dude needs to find a new line of work. Like, you're... Because you're right. Music should not be that complicated. Ever. For any reason. Okay. Now, I am not leaving here without the loot. Any of it. So, let's have a look around and see what else we can find. Understanding your teen. Uh, no thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm good. Caught in the maelstrom. I'm stood in the middle of Totentans, my knuckles white, tightly gripped on Achilles M179E rifle. It was shoved into my hands just seconds before the attack. My face arms, and sin leather jacket soaked in the blood and brain matter of the psycho I had just shot. My contact, a 30-year-old male strummer with a green mohawk, patted me on the shoulder. Man, Phil, you ain't half bad, he tells me appreciatively. Took you for a wuss, but gotta admit, uh, you got some steel-clad <laughs> huevos after all. And don't worry about the sad scrap head. If there ain't at least 20 bodies, you can call it a maelstrom party. What had already been an unsettling experience took a turn to the whole other level. The other maelstromers continued to mock me, but I could detect a tone of approval through all the vocal distortion. My mohawk contact even proposed that they install in me one of their distinct rudimentary implants. Fortunately, they didn't have a mind didn't have in mind their iconic optics suite, so I accepted. My popularity continued to grow. No way you'd get the Maelstrom mug so easy, he laughs. That text only for initiates. We pluck out their eyes and peel back the skin. No anesthetics. You survive. You're in. With the atmosphere now more relaxed, I asked in the, if the rumors had been true, do they accept contract killings? My Mohawk source nodded with enthusiasm. Oh yeah, we make good scratch and it's great morale booster, you know. Machines ain't bothered with a mess of feelings and that's what we aim for. Doing hit jobs like that helps us gouge out all the gooey emotions we still got left. Recently, this one guy got all whiny and snot nosed just because we roasted some kid. I told him, I said, dude, you better relive some suppressor BD and fast or boss man gonna blow your head off. The gonk should have listened. As I listened to his explanations and anecdotes, I realized that amusement clearly must not be one of their blacklisted emotions, and then I couldn't help but wonder, are machines capable of laughter? So the Maelstrom's whole ideology is that they are trying to become cyborgs, robots, heartless, cold, calculating killing machines. I mean, it makes sense. 
But you gotta ask why? Like, why would you want that? Why is that the inevitable goal? What do you get out of it? Man, I really wish I had bought those double jump legs. Nice warehouse of goodies, though. Anything I've missed? I mean, technically, there's a whole lot of stuff here, but... Oh, and there was a back alley I could have come in through. Look at this. It may have been possible for me to do this non-violent and stealthy, but I chose to go through the front door. Let's be real. It was Maelstrom. I really don't care about their feelings. So, with that out of the way, you know, I suppose I could go back and check on him. Yeah, let's mark the, uh... Oh, and I've got a level up. Let's put that into intelligence. I am tired of not being able to do anything. Um... Additional explosion damage to enemies affected by quick hacks. Ram recovery. You know what? I'm gonna take that one just because. I'm not looking to do a full Netrunner experience. I prefer to uh, play with this one. However, where's my motorcycle now? I did park right around here, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm not looking to go full cyber net runner. I'd much rather be the speedy get in, get out assassin type. But we'll see what happens. All right, where are the monks? Well, there's the monk. The one who gave us the job in the first place. His brother's not back yet. Brother? I did. He's safe. Of course I found him. He's safe and sound. Just needs to catch his breath. Thank you. The universe will reward you for your good deeds. I certainly hope I, so. I should not have given to base emotions, but I feel such a great relief that he is unharmed. There's nothing wrong with loving your brother and wanting to make sure that he stays safe and is well like for crying out loud human emotions are not evil none of them are inherently evil hatred love envy like they're not evil it's what you do with them that makes them good or bad it's your actions that determine whether or not it's evil Like, personally, I've got nothing against Buddhism. I never have. Buddhism's one of the better religions out there. But, at the same time, like... The whole idea of, of material possessions are distraction from, from gaining enlightenment. Like, they don't have to be. It's I think it's totally possible to own material possessions and still be, you know at peace all right what am I I'm going to a gig I just don't know where exactly the gig is hopefully Regina will explain when I get here Or... Okay, there's a hazmat team on one corner. Ah!
Would you watch where you're going? Because I can't! Okay. She didn't call me. She did call me. Did I just hang up on Regina? Oh, man. She is going to be so mad. 